Hello, my name is Chase. I'm a part of the Michigan Learning Channel Youth Advisory Council, and today I'm in Novi, Michigan at the Michigan Career Quest 2023. And today we're gonna learn about new and exciting careers in Michigan that you can pursue. Let's go take a look. What is your name and what do you do? My name is Andy Dubuck. I work for Washington Community College. I'm an instructor for CNC machining and also robotics and industrial equipment. What got you first into this job? I wanted to do machining. I wanted to build stuff. So I came to Washtenaw and uh, it gets wrapped up in a larger program that involves not only the fabrication for these things, but also the automation for the robots and the industrial equipment. And I thought it was all interesting. So that's what I ended up doing directly after I graduated. It seems very interesting. So what does a typical day in this job look like? Well, for I'll, I'll do machining. Uh, for this type of thing, you walk up to a machine like this, and it doesn't have any of this equipment installed inside of it, so it's our job as machinists to put the vise in there that'll hold the workpiece, and then we have to put the tool inside the spindle and set it all up, and then you make a test part, and then you have to adjust it and make a correct part, and then after that it's like mass production, basically. What is the correct part you're talking about? You make a part that looks like it's correct, but you have to measure it and then get all the dimensions perfect to make like an in-spec part. Because you imagine like if this is part for an engine or something, like it has to be very accurate to be a functional workpiece. Once that's set up, then at that point it's you know hitting the button and letting the machine create multiples. What kind of education would you need? Well, we do certificates that are generally about 20 credits, but we also do an associate's degree, which is about 70 credits. And at that point, you're ready to just go out to the workforce and get a job doing this. It pays pretty well, and there's pretty high demand for it these days. Would we be able to like look at a couple machines that you have here? Oh, yeah, yeah. In fact, you can make a part. Oh, really? <laughs> that seems so cool. All right, let's take a look. So how would I start making this piece? A couple things. The first is you have to take this blank and then install it in this vise. Uh, put it like horizontally, like, uh, play it like tighten this up. I'll put my finger on there. Is it tight? Okay. Yep. So that's in there. That's the hardware side. Now let's do some programming. Okay. So hit edit. Edit. And this is all pre-programmed to do most of the motions that you need, but we have to put your initials in there. Okay. So I'm going to go down to here. We do parentheses and then type three letters. And then with close parentheses, hit Alter, that'll change the code. You can see there it is. Hit Memory, that'll jump into the correct mode. Hit Reset. And now it should be good. We just have to shut this door. Very exciting. So now, the last thing is, hit Cycle Start whenever you're ready. Thank you so much. Perfect, I like it. You're a machinist. <laughs> <laughs> 